As at the time of recording this video, Emmanuel Macron is the president of France and is actually the eighth president of the Fifth Republic. Now, what is the Fifth Republic? Now, the Fifth Republic uh, in France, there has been five republics, uh, starting from the First Republic of uh, 1792. That was actually called the Revolutionary France uh, during the French Revolution. And after the First Republic, we have the Second Republic. Uh, the Second Republic started uh, from 1848 to 1852. Then we have the Third Republic from 1870 to 1940, and then the Fourth Republic from 1946 to 1958. All right, some basic facts before we actually dive in. You should know that the Fifth Republic has actually seen eight presidents uh, to date, till the time of recording this video. Uh, you should also know that the first president of the Fifth Republic was uh, Charles de Gaulle, and the youngest president in the Fifth Republic, as at the time of recording this video, uh, is Emmanuel Macron. Three presidents have been re-elected into power in the Fifth Republic. They are Francois Mitterrand, Jacques Chirac, and recently Emmanuel Macron. He was re-elected into power in the year 2022. Now let's start with the first president of the Fifth Republic. Uh, this is a man whose name you see everywhere in France, the name of streets. In fact, uh, the airport in Paris, the Charles de Gaulle, was named after him. Now Charles de Gaulle was born in 1890 and he died in 1970. He was in power between 1959 and 1969. In fact, he resigned when the majority voted against the referendum on the reform of the Senate. He died the following year. Perhaps one of the most principal action of Charles de Gaulle was that uh, he signed the agreement giving Algeria its independence. In 1959, General Charles de Gaulle declared that the Algerians had the right to determine their own future. Also, he established direct universal suffrage for the presidential election. From now on, all French people could vote directly to elect the republic's president. Now, he is also well known for what the French people call uh, Le 18 juin 1940, that's the 18th of June uh, 1940, where he actually called the French people from London on a radio station to continue fighting and resist uh, in the invasion of the Germans. Now, Charles de Gaulle was a strong advocate for European unity and played a key role in the establishment of the European Economic Community, which later became the European Union. Following the resignation of uh, Charles de Gaulle in 1969, his Prime Minister, Georges Pompidou, actually won the election and he became the French president in 1969. He ruled uh, between uh, 1969 and 1974. Previously, he was the Prime Minister of France between 1962 to 1968. In fact, he was the longest serving Prime Minister. Pompidou continued the work of Charles de Gaulle and was known for his focus on modernizing the French economy. He also played a key role in the expansion of the European community and worked to improve Franco-German relations. Uh, if you have seen this museum, the Contemporary Art Museum in Paris, Le Centre uh, Pompidou, uh, yes, he constructed the big museum of the contemporary art, uh, which was named after him. It's called the Centre Pompidou. Unfortunately, he died before the end of his tenure in 1974. Now, after Georges Pompidou died in 1974, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing actually came into power in 1974 and he ruled uh, from 1974 to 1981. Giscard d'Estaing was a champion of liberal economic policies and he made efforts to modernize and reform the French uh, economy. And now, some of his principal actions uh, was reducing the voting age from 21 to 18. Uh, with his health minister, uh, Simone Vell, he also passed the law legalizing abortion. It is also good to note that uh, Giscard d'Estaing actually had a liberal attitude towards abortion, divorce, uh, contraception, all the social issues. Perhaps that was one of the principal reasons why he passed the law uh, legalizing 
uh, portion. Uh, he also launched the idea of the TGV, the high speed trains, train at Grand Vitesse. He also launched the Grand Arche Musée d'Orsay and some other popular uh, monuments in France today. So when he left power in 1981, uh, a man called François Mitterrand came into power in 1981, he, between 1981 and 1995. Uh, it is worthy to know that Mitterrand was the first socialist president of the Fifth Republic and he was known for his efforts to implement a more interventionist economic policy. He also made efforts to improve social welfare and improve the rights of workers. Uh, well, perhaps some of his principal actions was that he abolished the death sentence in France. Uh, he also extended an annual paid leave by one week, uh, which which used to be four, uh, now it's five. Also, he reduced the weekly work hours from 40 to 39, and also a new minimum wage was introduced. Perhaps one of the most important uh, policies was that in 1992, he signed the Treaty of Maastricht that predicted a common currency uh, for the European Union. Unfortunately, he died one year later in 1996. Uh, he died when he was uh, 79 years. When he left power in 1995, then came Jacques Chirac. Uh, Jacques Chirac came in, in 1995 to 2007. He was actually elected uh, for two terms. Uh, Chirac was known for his efforts to modernize the French economy and make it more competitive. He also worked to improve the country's relationship with the European Union and with other countries around the world. Principal actions of Jacques Chirac was uh, before his time the French president were elected for a period of seven years a renewable uh, but he reduced it from seven years to five years. He puts in place the five-year term instead of seven. He also abolished the obligatory, the mandatory uh, military service when he came into power. Now, one of his most important actions was that on the 1st of January in the year 2002, the euro as a currency was launched in France. You should know that before then, the currency of France was the French franc. Now, when he left power in 2007, there came uh, Nicolas Sarkozy, uh, who was in power between 2007 and 2012. Uh, Sarkozy was known for his efforts to reform the French economy and to make it more competitive. He also played a key role in the response to the global financial crisis and made efforts to improve the country's relationships with other nations, particularly uh, in the European Union. Uh, perhaps uh, what you know about uh, Nicolas Sarkozy was that in 2011, he supported the rebels that chased uh, Gaddafi from power in Libya. Now, when Sarkozy left power in 2012, then came Francois Hollande from 2012 to 2017. Hollande was the first socialist president in nearly two decades and was known for its focus on social justice and inequality. He also played a key role in the response to the European debt crisis and made efforts to improve the country's relationships with other nations, particularly in the European Union. Now, in the year 2013, he passed the law that permits homosexual couples uh, to get married in France. Uh, same year, he sent the French army to strike terrorists uh, in Mali. Now, he served only one term and in 2017, then Emmanuel Macron, the youngest president uh, of France, came into power in 2017. Uh, he was born in 1977 and has been in power since 2017. Uh, he made labor reforms a priority. He has committed France to reaching carbon neutrality by 2050. He has also played a key role in securing commitment from other countries to tackle the climate crisis and has been a strong advocate for closer European integration. Uh, some of his practical principal actions was that uh, he made dental services, eyeglasses and 
hearing aids free in France. It penalized companies that made excessive use of short-term contracts. He extended public unemployment insurance to freelancers. He also eased regulations to small and medium-sized businesses. He ended the automatic pay rises and early retirement at the state railway brought in the highest share of women lawmakers yet and he approved the construction of 14 nuclear power plants by 2050. Uh, you should know that France actually has 56. As at the time of recording this video, France has 56 uh, nuclear reactors which generate 70% of its electricity. And there you have it. Now I believe you can see some things about the French president of the Fifth Republic. Thanks for watching and à très bientôt.